Sending paper airplanes to the moon. Tyler Perry, my friend. Good to see you, my friend. How are you? Good, good, good. All right, uh, I'm going to say this at the top because you've met my mother. Yes. And you came to visit. In I was, which I was going to ask, you know, how is she? Yeah. She's doing fantastic. But Tyler, you made mama cry. Oh, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, jazz um, man. Yeah, but me too. You know, uh, if I'm not mistaken, first script, 27 years ago, you wrote this. What made you think to revisit and get this done now? Uh, first of all, having a partner like Netflix, who is international around the world and everyone can see it all at the same time, but also looking at the state of our, our politics in America, where there is this, this assault on the education of what actually happened to black people during Jim Crow or during slavery, or the burning of books, the banning of, of, of our stories, the homogenization, or if that's a word, of trying to water down the effects of slavery. So I thought, here's a story that if it raises curiosity, then I've done exactly what I hoped it would do. Has your mindset changed, uh, if any, you know, since you sat down to write this 27 years ago? I don't, I don't- As it relates to the story. As it relates to the story, nothing in the story has changed other than the location, but my mindset, I don't know. That's a really good question. Maybe I'm not a hopeless romantic as, if I, as I was then, but. But for the most part, no, it's pretty much the same. All right, we got to talk about the music. You know, I'm a, I'm a music person because mm. we're also we do this on the radio now as well. Uh, did you choose? I love jazz. Okay, did you have any say in the songs that were used? Probably so. Yeah. Uh, and what? Because I feel like the music really drives this. Obviously, jazz man's blues is the title. But tell me about the process of you know choosing the right music for this. Every with every song that I that's in the movie I chose years ago when I was writing it because as I was writing it and and I knew jazz would be a part of it I was started listening to all of this different jazz music from Ella Fitzgerald to uh, Sashimo to to uh, uh, Lena, uh, Nina Simone and Lena Horn and just you know Sarah Vaughan so they all were present in my in my head as I was writing so jazz is very important and to have Terrence Blanchard who's also from New Orleans to to say yes to it I knew I was there in the pocket it don't mean a thing yeah I heard that yeah I'm like, wow Duke Ellington Great. hey brag on the cast for a minute because I love everybody in this film your leads are amazing tell me a little bit about the casting process what made them perfect for these roles yeah I was looking for a talent and actors who not only could act but also would would immerse themselves in the period and the time and how the body language was and the movement and there was every I wanted every bit of it to hit the right note and to have Joshua Boone and Soleya Amira uh, Austin I mean I can go down the list of everybody Molana all of these people who came along to say yes they really helped elevate what was on the page. So I'm grateful to all of them. Tyler, we've known each other for many years. I feel like I could finally ask you this question. Can I come tour your studio? When? Say the word. Say the word. And bring your mother. I, 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 you know what? We're going to plan a trip and we'll come see you. Okay. Seriously. Yeah. I, 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 I see these pictures and I'm, I'm thinking how proud I am of knowing you and this film. And as I'm researching, I'm like, I got to go see the studio, man. Houston's close. Beautiful. Houston's close. Come right on. So Leia, tell me about the first time you met Tyler Perry. I want to know everything. Oh my gosh. Well, the first time we spoke was a brief phone call after my audition. He just let me know that he that he that I had done a great job and it blew my mind. I, I had like missed a call from Tyler Perry on my phone. So I called him back as, as soon as I could. Um, and then when I met him for the first time, it was on his compound. And I think when you take in the what the word we've been using today, the majesty of all that he has created, you meet him and you immediately understand how he is built, what he's the most commanding presence. He he owns every room that he, he walks in and to be a part of his legacy and in this way is an honor, a true honor. He just invited me to that compound. I literally, he, I've been interviewing him for years. He actually knows my mom too. When he we, he came to town and, and she was there with oh. me, he asked for a minute ago. At the end, I'm like, Tyler, you know, as long as I've known you, can I come visit you in Atlanta? He's like, dude, come on, bring mama. Let's do this. So <laughs> I want to go now. That's cool. Hey, Joshua, how, how did he describe this to you? When you were cast, you met Tyler. Tell me how this was described to you. Uh, labor of love. You know, just, just straight up something that he really cares about. And and 
I just love working with people who care about what they do because I care a lot. You know, I don't subscribe to anything, you know, that I don't because I breathe easier when I'm working on things that I, I love, you know, and I tend to not work on things that I don't. And for him to be so, so in love with this story, you know, you could feel it and it yeah. just it charges you up. It makes you want to give everything to it. And I hope people feel that. I hope people feel all of that energy and all that love through the film. It's incredible. And I should also add, you both are just amazing. This, Thank my you. mom was in tears. Speaking of my mom, we are both just crying at the end. And just the performances that you all uh, gave us, you, everything, you poured everything uh, that you all, you both have into this and it shows. And it's just incredible to see. So Leia, yeah, Appreciate so to that. that. Oh, thanks, man. I want to <laughs> yeah. hang out all day. So Salea, but to that, I want, I want to ask, you know, what impact does being a part, I love jazz, by the way, and I'm going to get to the music in a minute, Joshua, we, we're going to talk music, but Salea, what, what impact does this story have on you? Uh, a huge impact. I mean, I, I've been talking today about how, you know, this script came into my life at a time, you know, cut, cut, coming on the heels of the pandemic, um, when I was in definitely in a bit of identity crisis, you know, the racial reckoning that we have felt in America, I think, hit mixed race people in a very specific way and i was one of those people who who it did hit and so in in learning the history of people like me it gave me a like all these beautiful things to to hold on to that i i you know that allowed me to be this this is who i am i know who i am and i moved up from from that experience with a totally like deeper sense of self and i think that's like that's the most you can really ask for from from, from any job any artistic experience yeah. Beautiful. X, absolutely. All right, Joshua, I'm a music guy. We're also on the radio on iHeart, I should say, this interview, also running on 106.1 KISS FM in Dallas, uh, Fort Worth. And so I love jazz. When I heard, and I'm not ruining anything, but when I heard, it don't mean a thing, <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, here, here we go. Yeah. What was it like to film those musical sequences? I, that's, that's, coming from the theater, I love collaboration. That's what I love most. Mm -hmm. You know, like, and to have so many elements in play, you know, from the audience to Miss Allen and the dances and the choreography, like, those were probably the most exciting days for me. One, because I was actually on a stage, you know, which is, that's my home, you know, the stage. So just to be on a stage with all of these people, all of us working towards this common goal, like, you can't help but be charged up by it. It was, it was amazing. I, I don't know how to, I can't give you any more words than that. I, I just feel it, you know? Okay, we're gonna have some fun since I have some time here. And I, I wrote this as my last question, but I, I was like, let me feel them out, but here we go. This is gonna be great. <laughs> so Saleh, Joshua, anybody that wants to jump in on this, at any point during filming, did Tyler, hold on, <laughs> oh, come on now. Did, did, he, did he ever, or did you ever ask him to break into a Medea character, the Medea character? <laughs> He he toyed with it a few times. He kept on saying he was like, people are gonna expect to hear to hear Medea's church shoes coming around the corner. So yeah, we it, it was he he threw Medea around. Yeah, we, as a reference. As a reference. Yeah, we 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 did not. Yeah, we we didn't we ask. Did but he threw it as a reference for yes. expectation, you know. And I'm excited. I'm excited for people to see the film because yes, of that, you know, I think for that reason. Medea lovers, I think they're in for a treat because this is a whole other artistic side of, of this artist that we love so much. Yeah. Love it. Love you both. Thank you so much. Thank for your you. Time. Love you Thank too. You. I appreciate love you. that. Hey, serious, great work. You both Thank are you. proud. This is amazing. Thank amazing you so job, much. Thank you very much. Have a good Thank one.